The other thing you can do is um, people are starting to um, lose their mind right now, and they think that they're going crazy. And I tell them, yes, they are going crazy because, you know, the mind is life is working very hard to help you lose your mind because the mind is most inclined and likes to rewind you to the daily grind. You're shedding your mind uh, like the snake is shedding its skin. And you're moving from um, a head case to a heart case. You're changing real estate. And then you'll you'll understand those terms, absent-minded genius, you know, uh, absent-minded professor, mad genius, madly in love, dyslexia is great, and um, the intelligence outside of mind, which is the heart. And if you operate out of there on a daily basis, then you completely heal yourself, you know, every moment, basically. Everything else that's been done to you in the past or in the future is suddenly canceled out. And you have a fresh slate. This is why it's very important to suspend all beliefs and ideas and live every day as if it's like you're, you're brand new to the world because you're not held by any of the other patterns of the past. I do. I feel like an infant um, all over again in terms of because I've let go of so much. That's great. And, uh, and see, we tend to think that the mind is all there is, but that's silly. That's like saying the foot is all there is. And no, it's a part of you, and just the mind is just upset. It's fighting its emotion, and this is really what the Illuminati is. It's our reptilian brain. And our reptilian brain is where all the 90% of our negative self-talk comes from and the repetition. And it's doing this because it's losing its, its power over us because when we believe that the mind is all there is, that's solipism. And so now it knows that it's, it's going to be demoted and it's fighting that. And it's fighting that because, you know, it, it doesn't realize that we're going to be a team. Like the, the heart and the mind are a team. They, they all need to work together. Every part of the body is significant. And you just have to speak to your mind or that, the Illuminati, that insecure part, in a very gentle way or to your ego, not, oh, you're bad, because it will become the self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're only told you're bad, that's the only idea you ever have, and that's why we have so many criminals in the world. But also um, because, you know, like a child running around with scissors, gentle and loving, and then you just, again, cancel out everything. You go from swinging from right brain to left brain, negative to positive to neutral. And that's what ascension is, ascending past polarity and duality mentality. That rhymed. <laughs> but I'll work with you as well. And you'll see how easy this is. It's like snap of the finger. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Joe, did she answer your question? Well, in, in unexpected ways, I think. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good. I'll uh, meditate on that. All right, well, and, uh, yeah, thank you. I've Thanks been doing, so much. like, Kundalini stuff and trying to breathe and uh, pressurize my, you know, uh, my head. And I've been getting some results, but not uh, not quite not quite what I had been hoping for. This is, this is different. I like the idea about the trees. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'll work with you tonight, and you can write me to tell me what kind of uh, differences have occurred, okay? Okay. All, All right. right, in the etheric and astral realms, we'll have some fun. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks so much for your call, Joe. You know, uh, Jessica, you mentioned the reptilian brain, and, you know, this is something I've pondered. The, uh, you know, I'm surprised, actually, many people aren't familiar with the term triune brain and that the three different parts. Um, so I'm just going to, well, t before I tell you my theory, <laughs> I'm going to ask you, what do you think about uh, reptilians? Are they actually walking on the earth, or could it possibly be um, something that we see because we are operating uh, mostly th using that part of our brain? That's exactly it. Um, there are, they're operating and people can see them as reptile beings because we are ruled and controlled by our reptilian brain in the third dimension. But it's all a mirror. It's all a mirror. It's, and there is no, you know, I guess I could tell you my that are trying to destroy you. All this is is a mere reflection of our own self-destructive nature because we can't forgive ourselves because we're not loving and gentle with ourselves. Because we lie to ourselves. Like, I find it really ridiculous how people are like, oh, I don't like the Illuminati. You know, they have no right to keep secrets from us. But, you know, I said, okay, but don't you keep secrets from yourself and from your loved ones? So it's not, you know, it's not one-sided. Why is it okay for you to do it and not okay for them? Don't you understand that they're just, um, what you're doing on your daily life 
is feeding them. Yeah, I guess I, you know, I did tell you my theory in the question. I wasn't supposed to do that, but yeah, I just, I, I've always, you know, I've never seen a reptilian, so of course I have you know, no proof that they do exist or don't exist, but my theory was that it would stem from that part of our brain, and that is the most um, animalistic part. It, it's the ego. It is, and you know, what's they want us to operate on that, it, the lower levels, because you know, then we're, we're not seeing the big picture. That That's the ego, the material, the self-pleasure, the me, 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 now, 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 I want, I want. Um, and there's all these distractions put in the way. Um, so anyways, it's nice to hear uh, my theory actually uh, duplicated somewhere. Has <laughs> well, you know, not uh, all of them are, are bad, though. I mean, only 30% have ill, Ill intent. And um, I just don't, I think sometimes people can be very um, uh, racist and, and stereotype them. It's like saying all Asians are bad drivers. You know, like we can't be labeling a whole race all the time. No, it's the blue haired drivers. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's, that's old ladies in Florida. <laughs> no, there are some blue haired drivers who are actually very good as well at driving. <laughs> Watch out for stereotypes. Come on, the, the, me and you, what we look like, we get stereotyped all the time. So uh, we can have fun with that, though. Um, the, the other thing I wanted to say, which I can't remember <laughs> about the reptiles, it, it'll come back. Um. Well, you know, yeah, stereotypes we and labels, we have to be able to remove that. And if we can't remove that, we can, we're never going to be able to look at ourselves seriously, let alone look at somebody else or judge somebody else. I mean, hello, mirror, mirror on the wall. I highly recommend everybody looking at it at least, oh, you yeah. know, at, well, as often as you can, because is it, you know, I like to say when we quit learning, we quit living. Um, Everyone, you know, is a, even the people who you don't get along with are a mere reflection of yourself of what you do not want to see nor admit. And so if everything is a mirror, I asked my guides, it's like, what do you mean everything's a mirror? How is that possible? And they said, well, what is the original mirror? It's like water. And they're like, okay, so suppose you're looking at your reflection in the lake, but the water is disturbed. Then the image you're going to see of yourself in the world will be distorted. Okay, well, yeah. most of your body is made up out of water. And if we have inner conflict, because um, if there's a war going on inside of us, then there's a war reflected, you know, outside the world as well. So if we are hard on ourselves, then the water is going to be very disturbed. And so what we're going to see out of our eyes will be a very distorted, funhouse version of the world and ourselves. And very good advice, you know, and yeah, the whole stereotype thing. I mean, when you first, okay, Jessica, let's admit it, you are a beautiful young lady, okay, and you are blonde, so I know those stereotypes, and here you are, oh, no, I'm just a regular person. I'm not educated. I didn't even go to high school, and you're speaking some of the most profound, la wise language, you know, we don't come across this every day, so I, I don't think you need a certificate, first of all, to say that you're good enough to speak about a topic or that you have information to share or, you know what I'm saying? We all have something to learn. We all have something to teach, and I, I definitely think that you found your role. But it must be kind of funny, you know, guys probably look at you and, ooh, I've got to have me some of that piece of meat, and, you know, then to get... Find out that you actually have a brain ah, and a heart and a soul, a very wise soul with something to teach. What a slap in the face, I bet, huh? And I like to turn a lot of them off. I've made that quite, you know, joyous, uh, figuring out creative ways to do that. Um, <laughs> but also just you know, when you get a chance to really, you know, if they're going to look at you, if they're going to give you time, because I know they're only talking to me because of how I look. If I didn't look like this, they wouldn't give me the time of day. So right. I can use this to my advantage. Yeah. I can yeah, be like, hold hey. Off. We're rolling into break. We'll be right back here.